Yo, what up? It's your boy Trap Stew, and I know y'all ain't used to me coming to y'all like this as a disembodied voice. I'm usually, you know, on a body. Y'all can see me and the boys, you feel me, doing our podcast, but I wanted to change it up, give y'all more content, be more versatile. So here, so sorry, be more versatile. So here I am with another video, probably going to be some rough editing. This is my first video of this kind, so I'm going to need y'all to be a little patient with me. And you know, uh, uh, appreciate what's going on, and just you feel me, just 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 sit while I'm planting the seeds for something greater and shit. You know, no cap. But today I want to talk about Marcus Jordan, the son, an NBA legend, Hall of Famer, and just the goat, the goat himself. He's the goat, Michael Jordan. You know, like I, I just don't get how you could get caught this down bad for y'all. For those who don't know. I would say about 24 hours ago, if that Marcus Jordan was caught participating in, you know, the the the, the Pablo Escobar, you know, the 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 powdered sugar. I can't say too much because of YouTube and their guidelines. And I probably want this video to get monetized. I'm trying to change the video, you know, change the image of us around a little bit. But yeah, so over the over this last day or two, Marcus Jordan was caught doing this thing in France. A cameraman spotted him on the balcony with some friends doing this thug thizzle and participating in the Pablo Escobar activity. So my thing is, this is this is just overall fucking wild. I don't know how you could get... Why are you outside participating in this? And then I feel like he set us back in the history of black them years because he was sitting over freshly cut watermelon doing this. This, I mean, like, this, this, was, some, this was some sinister shit. I'm sorry if I'm getting loud. But to know... You went from stealing your unk, Scotty pimping bitch, to 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 being on a balcony. Man, this is this is this is crazy. But I mean, I saw people comment, "This is rich people doing rich people shit," which, which is honestly true as fuck. I'm keeping the fuck with you. That that's rich people doing rich people shit. Do I condone the usages of such Pablo Escobar? No, I don't. I do not condone the usage of Pablo Escobar. I think Pablo Escobar should be kept to. The minimal use, cause some of you motherfuckers get the Pablito in y'all system and become different people. Y'all know who y'all is. We not gonna say no names, but I just feel like, I like, how, why aren't you inside? Like, there are so many outlets that don't involve you being outside on the balcony, participating, in in the sweet, sweet, sweet embrace of the motherfucking candy cane, which is booger sugar. Cause just, 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 I, I, I won't call it sweet embrace because I don't know what it's like. I'm just being funny, tossing out jokes and shit. But just the simple fact that you could be just caught this down bad. Like, I wonder what Mike got to say. Cause I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Bronny would never. The only power that Bronny touching is the shit his father throwing in the air before the game. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I, I'm just saying. Like, I don't know. I feel like once he looked like. Uh, for y'all, for those who don't know, let me let me get y'all on some basketball history. Uh, about I say about fifteen years ago, I, I would say I'm I'm being a little loose. It could be shorter, it could be it could be longer, but I'm gonna say about fifteen years ago, there was a Michael Jordan All Star game, and there was this man called Air Motherfucking Gordon. For y'all, for those of y'all who don't know about Air Gordon, this is motherfucking. I'm talking about. At the time, he was Illinois balling out, putting buckets on niggas' heads. He was a class before Derrick Rose. It was Eric Gordon. If any of y'all know about Eric Gordon, he was broke as fuck in 2010 when he was playing for the Clippers. Not broke as fuck like that, but if you played 2K and you played in 2010, but that boy Eric Gordon was a cheat code. I'm talking about a cheat. And in 2012, oh my God, Eric Gordon in 2K12. But we're not going to talk about that. We're talking about his high school career. So the man proceeds to drop 50 buckets. On the Jordan brothers, I'm talking about uh, uh, <laughs> giving him buckets. I'm talking about some mean buckets. I wouldn't attend this, but you can look this story up. Everybody talk about it on YouTube. The man straight embarrassed the man. And I feel like since that day, Mike just looked at his son a little different. Like the man didn't even go to the NBA. The man didn't do nothing. N -n -n nothing. Neither one of them. But let me stop, dog. He probably ain't disappointed in his boys over that. But the 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 simple fact that he dropped. Fitty on him in front of his daddy, and they was calling him Air Air Gordon. And I, I know it hurt Mike. I just know it. I know it hurt Mike. Ever since that day, he probably been looking at that little nigga funny. But 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 no. The 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 simple fact is that the man the man 
is is different. The, the man got caught doing some shit that none of us probably want to get caught doing. And I mean, shit, some of us don't even want to get caught smoking motherfucking a Mary Jane. I'm just keeping a buck with you. You remember when you was young, you ain't want your mama to find out. Some of y'all older and don't want your mama to find out, but we ain't going to talk about that. Like, the shit is, is just diabolical. The man is living his best life, and, and the Pablito was a part of his best life. What can we do about it? Nothing. I just feel like at this point in time, we should all be aware of our surroundings and what's going on. And you don't even got to be famous to know what's going on with your surroundings. There should be no reason why you should be getting recorded doing some shit that is like, you know, some 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 some, some, some personal keep on the hush hush shit. You feel me? Because I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Some of y'all, is y'all going to let a random man in when y'all clapping them cheeks of a female to just boop, boop, pull out that camera? No. Some of y'all, just wait, some of y'all, some, wait, wait. <laughs> Some of y'all might, but majority of us won't. And, and, and that's what I'm getting at. When, when we in a privacy of what we could say, not our own home, but that's something that simulate our own home or just the privacy of a, a sanctified area that should be kept private, this ain't, this ain't one of them. When you, when you, like I said, when you, anybody, not even a celebrity, when the cameras is out, when people is around, when you know you just doing something, put your head on the swivel. Look around. Look up. Look down. Just, just don't get caught this damn bad. Now, is is it the end of anything for him? No. Does it? Is it gonna make him look bad? Yeah. I'm gonna just keep it a buck with you. It is. Now, is it probably gonna fuck up some shit he got going on? What the fuck do he got going on? We don't know. But is it gonna fall back on his father? 100. percent It is because the sins of our children equals the sins of our fathers as well. Sometimes. And no, we can't control this man and what he's doing. But one thing we can say is. That that's not going to stop the people from judging and the powers that be. But then again, Michael Jordan is probably a fucking power at be. So what what too much can they do to this man? This man's like a black Rothschild without all the fucked up shit that we know about uh, or about. I ain't never heard no fucked up shit about Mike coming out that much. But what I must say in this situation, we should all keep our head on the swivel and be prepared for the fuckery that's sitting around the corner. Because as you can see. I'm talking about it. I'm pretty sure I ain't the only person who's going to be talking about it. But, you know, like, oh, you had the motherfucking do, Craig. No, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. All you had to do was follow the motherfucking train, CJ. No, let me stop. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, when it get to like this, you always got to know. Everything is being recorded. The people is watching you. When you are somebody, sir. You can't afford to move like a nobody. And I'm going to just keep it right there. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it one thousand wild with you. This is the most craziest shit I've ever seen. And I'm pretty sure he's going to come from under this. So there is no need for us to make a big... No, nah, I'm lying. Make a big deal out of this shit. Fuck that nigga. Hey, it's your boy Stu and I'm out. These niggas is tripping.